Hi everyone, as part of this problem, we have the input table as flight info. This table has below columns, cust ID, which is the ID of the customer, flight ID, that is the ID of the flight with which the user traveled, origin, that is the starting point from where the flight started, and destination is the target location where the flight went to. So every entry gives travel information about the customer regarding the flight and from where to where the customer traveled. Now, as we can see, there can be single entries as well as there can be multiple entries for a customer. So if there are multiple entries, it means that the customer had connecting flights. So as part of the output, we need to determine what was the starting point for the customer and what was the last uh, location where the customer traveled to. So for example, if we check for customer ID 1, he has started his journey from Delhi, went to Hyderabad and then there is a flight from Hyderabad to Kochi and then from Kochi to Mangalore. So ultimately the customer traveled from Delhi to Mangalore. So that is what is required in the output. In case a customer is not having any connecting flights, that is they have traveled through only single flight. In that case, that will be our output. That is the customer ID say three has traveled from Goa to Lucknow. So hope the problem statement is clear. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. So what we will do is first we will understand what approach we can take to solve this problem. So this is our input table that is flight info. So what we are going to do basically is we are going to use self join to solve this problem. So what we are going to do is we are going to break this table or say that we will have two copies of this table. We will call the first copy say as flight one and call the second copy as flight two. Now what we will do is we will join the two tables based on origin of the first table and destination of the second table. Okay, so we are going to do that join and we will do a full outer join. Uh, why are we doing that? So see, if we have, uh, if we closely observe this table, uh, so if it is a source location, like for example, Delhi, for this customer ID one, so if we see Delhi in the source location, it will never occur in the destination. That is the first observation. It means that the source that is the origin location, the starting point will never be in the destination. And similarly, the destination or that last point, it will never be in the origin because we will not be starting from this location, any journeys. So this will be present only on the destination side. Okay. So source will be only uh, present in the origin and destination uh, location will be present only on the destination side. That is what uh, we are going to take advantage of by using this observation. So we are going to join uh, this table based on origin of the first copy and destination of the second copy. So once we do that, we will reach to a point wherein the data will look like this. So for Delhi origin, there is no destination uh, of Delhi because the customer is never going to come back to Delhi as that was the starting point. So we will never find a match, uh, matching uh, record for origin equal to Delhi. And if we are checking in the destination, we will never find any such entry. So if we are able to identify such records, we can say that this is our source or the starting point. Similarly, there might be other locations, for example, Kochi. So if we see that this customer has arrived at Kochi earlier, so if we join by origin and destination, we will be able to find a match. It means that at this location, the client has already arrived. So this cannot be our starting point. So if we have any entries where we are, uh, where we are finding a match, it means that if we are starting the journey from Kochi, we already have arrived at Kochi uh, by some other flight. So this cannot be our starting point. So we need to eliminate all such entries. Similarly, if we see for Hyderabad, it is the same scenario. That is the Hyderabad location is present in origin as well as in the destination. So this is the first part. 
since we are doing full outer join now we will look into all the unmatched record on the right side so if we see we have already covered hyderabad and kochi so for customer id 1 we are left with only this record so if we try to match obviously we will not have any match of destination mangalore with source in the origin column in the flight 1 table there is no uh, value of mangalore in the origin column for customer id 1 so on the source side there will be no data populated that is it will be null so it means that this is the target location so practically it indicates that the customer never started any journey from mangalore location it is only the destination location so that way we can say that this is our final endpoint or the customer traveled till this point so these entries will give us the starting point and these entries will give us the ending point so hope the problem is clear we are going to do a self join we have created two copies of this table we are going to join based on the origin of the first table and destination of the second table and basically we are trying to identify unmatching records so once we have unmatching records we can determine whether it is the starting point or the end point based on the observation that we have so let's get going and solve this problem so now what we will do is as we discussed we are going to use a self join so we will operate on this input table that is flight info and we will create two copies of it let's call the first copy as f1 and we will do a full outer join as we discussed on the same table that is flight info and let's call this table as f2 the joining condition is we are going to have same customer id so the customer id is going to be the same and we are going to join based on the source or the starting point that is the origin column of the first table and destination column of the second table so this is our joining condition so what we will do is let's see all the columns how it is looking now once we do a full outer join okay so now as we can see for example customer id 1 so for all such entries as we discussed for first uh, record that is origin delhi we don't have any matching record for kochi and hyderabad we have matching record and the last entry is this one that is on the right side table there is no matching record for destination mangalore in the source origin so these are the records that we are interested in so likewise it applies for other customer id as well so among this what is our area of interest we are interested only in those records where the ids or the entries are null on either side of the table so what we will do is after we have performed the join we will add a filter condition to say that if either on the left side the customer id is null or on the right side the customer id is null we just want those records so let's do that filtering so after we do the filtering we will have only these entries that uh, that will be there so for customer id 1 we have two entries so one is for the source and one is for the so this is to identify the uh, source location and this is to identify the target location similarly for other customer ids as well so now what we have to do is we have to get this record and the first record this two should be part of the same uh, record like uh, we should have a single record we should specify that delhi is our starting point and mangalore is our target location so how we will achieve that is we will use the case condition so in the case condition what we are going to do is we are going to check if the right side table it, if the field is null like we can choose any field so say we have used uh, the cust id field so if it is null then we will say that our uh, origin is our starting point from the left side table so this is f1 dot origin so this is our start point and similarly the other way around that is if the left side table has null value so we will say that the f2 destination so this was the origin column 
So F2 destination is our endpoint. So let's call this as endpoint column. Okay, so uh, till this point, uh, let's run and see the output. So as we can see, we have determined for customer ID, the start point is Delhi and the end point for customer ID is Mangalore. The customer ID is split between these two tables. So what we can do is we can add another derived column using is null function. Okay. And we can take the cast ID if it is present on the first table or if it is present in the second table from wherever uh, we will get the customer ID. So now let's run this part and see the output. So we can see that now we have derived the customer ID column as well. So we can only focus on this part. Okay. So basically what we have done is we have checked the customer ID. If it is present in this column that is from the first table or if it is present in this column that is the second table. So wherever it is present, we have got it into a new column. So now our area of interest is these three columns. So these three columns can help us to get our desired output. So what we will do is we will remove the other columns and let's focus on these three columns only. So if I just, if we just run this part, we have this uh, data with us. Now we are very near to the solution. What we have to do is we have to kind of merge the data. So if uh, to understand it uh, better, what we will do is we will order whatever uh, data we have just obtained. Let's order it by customer ID so that we can see all the entries for a customer uh, together. So we will just order it based on the customer ID. So let's run and see the output. So now if we see for customer ID one, we have the start point as Delhi and end point as Mangalore. Similarly for customer ID two, the start point is Mumbai and end point is Delhi. And for customer ID three, it is Goa and Lucknow. The thing that is pending is we have to merge these two entries or for every customer ID, there will be two, two entries. So we just need to merge them into a single record. So merging is basically, we have to apply the aggregation. So we will apply the aggregation on the customer ID column. So our customer ID is a derived column by using the is null function. So that is what we are going to use in the grouping. So grouping based on this column, and then we can use either max or mean on this column. So if we apply max uh, on the customer ID here, like in the starting point, we will get only Delhi. Uh, the null will be discarded. So let's quickly do that. So let's apply the max function. So we have applied max on both these. So now let's run and see the output. So as we can see, we have got the desired output. Let's run it along with the input. So this is what we have. So this way we have solved a problem. For every customer ID, we have determined what is the starting point and what is the ending point that is there traveling from which location to which location we have determined. So let's quickly summarize how we have solved the problem. So basically to solve this problem, we have done a self join. We have created two copies of the same table. We have called the first copy as F1, the second copy as F2, and we have performed a full outer join. Regarding the joining condition, we have joined based on the same customer ID from the two tables and origin of the first table is joined with the destination of the second table. So after the join, we are interested only in those records where either side of the table is blank. That is only we are interested in the non-matching columns. So if the left table side is not matching or the right side table is not matching, so we are interested only in those records. So we have used the OR clause and we have specified this condition inside the WHERE clause. So after all this is done, we will get the only records of interest and we have to do a aggregation based on this customer ID that is derived by checking if the customer ID is present in the first table or the second table. So we are doing the grouping based on that column. And after that, we have to check if the table is blank or null, we will get uh, the data from the origin column of the first table. So that will be our starting point. 
Similarly, if the first table has customer ID as null, that means on the first table side, we don't have any data, then we have to pick the destination and that will be our ending point from the second table. So this way we will able to identify from which place to which place the customer traveled. So we will add the create table and insert statements in the description. Please use it for your practice. If you found the video useful, please like, like it. Comment, if you have not and yet subscribe. The channel, please subscribe and please provide your feedback in the comments. Thank you.